Hello and welcome everybody into the next part of our Halloween folio creation. I hope you all got downloaded all those free printables. If you didn't download it yet, please go to have a look to the description box below. There is a link where you can find all these uh, Halloween background papers and also the circles, decorative circles for Halloween. They are uh, for free, so I hope you will enjoy them. And I'm going to continue with this Halloween folio. I hope you will enjoy this part. And we're going to continue when we left in the previous part. I'm going to be using three types of envelopes. These uh, side-loaded envelopes. And I'm going to tell you measurement in inches. It is nine and one quarter. In centimeters, it is 23 and a half by... 6 and 3 eighths and in centimeters it is 16 so that's one type of envelopes then this small letter size of envelopes in inches it is 6 and 3 8 by 4 and 3 8 in centimeters 16 by 11.3 and these small coin envelopes these are in the size 4 4 and 1 quarter by 4 and in centimeters it is 10 10.7 by 10. So all these sizes of envelopes I'm gonna be using and also uh, these file folders. Uh, these are those three tabs uh, file folders so I'm gonna be using them. They are from Manila paper and they are really beautiful. I bought them on Amazon. I will try to find the link. Last time when I tried to find them it was sold out so I will have a look if they will have new stuff you know new stock so I will put link down below and we're gonna work on that file folder so I do have here of each of the sizes four envelopes four of these large ones four of these middle ones and four of these small ones maybe I will use a little bit more or maybe less I'm not sure yet but I do have prepared these I used black uh, ink this one I used memento tuxedo black for distressing all these edges because it will be for Halloween so that's why I used this ink and I'm gonna grab my first file folder I'm gonna grab my scoring board and I'm gonna cut that file folder to the size of that largest envelope I'm using so my envelope is opening this way and I want to cut my file folder to this size. My envelope is nine and one quarter uh, inches long. So for that size, I'm going to cut my file folder. I'm going to put my file folder on nine and one quarter of inch. Grab my knife. And cut the file folder in that size. And I'm gonna take uh, file folders with all those three flaps and cut them to that same. Uh, same size, so nine and one quarter. And I'm gonna take four of these file folders. And always I'm saving tap. I'm keeping that tab on my file folder, nine and one quarter. <coughs> and 
then the last one I'm gonna take again with that middle tap nine and one quarter these off cuts I'm gonna save I can do belly bands or something with this and I'm gonna start to score uh, all these pages with the tab uh, I would like to use for placing my envelopes on them so I'm gonna move that tab behind the zero so I'm starting to score like from this edge and my envelope is here six and nearly three eighth of inch uh, wide. So I'm gonna be scoring a little bit more than is this one. I'm gonna be scoring six and half. Then keep there one quarter of inch gap. So I'm gonna score six and three quarter. And now because this is uh, too long, I'm gonna move that six and one quarter to the zero. And score uh, six and a half one more time. So that way I do have one quarter of inch gap right here. I do have one quarter of inch gap. I do have this page, foldable page, and also a page where I will glue my envelope. And I'm gonna do all of them exactly the same. So always start to score where the top is. I'm gonna move that top on the, behind the zero. So this is my starting point and score of score all of them exactly same way six and a half six and three quarter then move that on the zero and score one more time six and a half and then fold my score lines So I do have all four my file folders uh, folded and scored. I do have here one more file folder and from that I'm gonna do additional pages and also uh, creating extra spine. So I'm gonna cut it in the same size, nine and one quarter. Cut it here. I'm gonna keep this maybe for those belly bands. Now this this piece of file folder I'm gonna divide on pieces. I'm gonna cut two extra pages and uh, because this is six and a half I'm gonna uh, cut them in six inches including the tabs. So I'm gonna move that tab on six inches that way I know I will fit into those openings. <coughs> Pardon me. And I'm gonna cut from one side, page with top, six inches, and I'm gonna do same on that opposite side. Put my file folder on the six inches, including the top, and cut. <coughs> Pardon me. And with this rest, I'm gonna create extra spine. The spine which will hold my file folders. My file folders uh, will be put into two and one quarter of inch spine. So first my scoring will be on, yeah, on two inches. And then every one quarter of inch I'm gonna score till four 
and one quarter. So every two, uh, every one quarter of inch, I'm gonna do score line till four and one quarter. So I do have this flexible spine. Uh, this is just to make sure I will know where to glue my file folders once uh, I'm ready to, to glue them somewhere. So this will be just like uh, holding for my folders. So I can fold each of these score lines to make it nice and flexible. And I'm gonna grab that black ink and distress all the edges on every single pieces which I just cut it to match it all together with my envelopes. And with that Halloween theme. So I do have prepared my extra spine. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab that black ink and ink everything. So I am distressing my <laughs> five folders and I forgot that I do have here these two pages and uh, I will glue them later. But uh, right now I forgot that I wanted to also cut the corners of the si uh, you know, of those sides where I cut the bottom. So I'm using uh, the largest corner punch of this three sizes of of punch uh, of the corner punch yeah my explanation is terrible but <laughs> I, I do believe you know what i mean what i wanted to say <sighs> so i'm using the largest size of this corner punch and i'm gonna cut all these corners which are sharp and straight and then i will distress all of it I do have all my important pieces distressed with the black ink to match it with that theme and uh, here I do have those uh, these two pages those extra pages and I'm gonna start to decorate them first because then I can glue them uh, on my page I forgot to score them both of them I'm gonna score uh, on the opposite side then is tap on this side half inch and I will also need to distress it one more time. Half inch here and half inch on this page. Here is tap, so here on this side, half inch. I'm going to be using this half inch to glue these extra pages to my file folders. So I'm going to distress these sides as well. I forgot that. So I do have my pages distressed. I'm gonna measure the size here now when there is that fold. So this is four, nearly five inches. So I'm gonna be knee, kneading the paper four and three quarter in this size. And here I'm gonna cut the paper nine and one quarter for both of them i'm gonna be cutting uh, papers four and three quarter by nine and one quarter and i really want to mix and match all kind of these papers especially those halloweens but then are here these adverts which are <laughs> brilliant especially in that black color and i like also these soft ones i think they can be additional uh, you know where i want to have something Look, that uh, something a little bit softer, and of course laboratory. That's perfect for Halloween. So I'm gonna choose some papers and cut them to the size I need. I do have cutted pieces which I need for these additional pages, and I did use uh, the shabby chic and also. The laboratory and uh, Halloween, they need distress a lot, especially these white ones. 
to kind of match that theme and match these colors, especially those colors which I used for uh, my focal points. So I'm gonna grab all kind of my distress inks. I'm gonna distress it all. Uh, I can use also that coffee and um, you have lots of black ink here. So I'm gonna fold it and protect my papers. So on these, I do believe there will be enough to just use black ink and just uh, ink the edges to kind of give them that finished look. And these uh, I'm gonna be using vintage photo and then black ink so vintage photo to give it that kind of grungy darker style and I'm gonna go with my brush because that gives me very soft distressing nice and soft layer And now also the black ink and here I will be a little bit more generous with that black ink to give it that, you know, that Halloween style. And with my brush I'm gonna add a little bit of black splatters here and there. with my tea I'm gonna add their tea stains so I do have colored my pages and I do have here these off cuts uh, each of these pages are from A4 size uh, cut cut out from A4 size paper with that one print so I already do have these off cuts and I don't want to end up with loads of scraps so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take big pages and create my little layouts. Maybe this will be really nice, like some opening. So always, it's good size. It does have really beautiful edge and I can do some small layouts. And cut these papers in the size I need for creating some extra, <clears throat> oh, I can use it both sides actually and create some extras you know something what I will decorate with with it my file folder so if I will take this one then I will need just small strips around so for that I'm gonna take this And these strips I can use around this and create small ephemera. So first I'm gonna distress it. Now I'm gonna take my book page, glue this first. strips I can cut the pieces I need so I'm gonna start with this top one
and for inside I can use these uh, notepads so I can glue these tea dyed papers on that book page so I will have writing spot or maybe space for picture you know when you do have Halloween party you will probably have loads of gorgeous amazing photos So they can be totally placed in these small booklets. And the booklet can be placed right here because it's reinforced now. And I can put here something, maybe one of these. One of these numbers, why not? And I do have here my mini folder with all kind of cuts for Halloween. So maybe if you uh, was quick enough and downloaded uh, those, I think it was in, in the coffin freebie. You got some of these mini labels as well. I think it was in that coffin. And I do have also, this is also on my Etsy. It's just like a few book pages, pockets from book pages and also die cuts from book pages. And they are literally made for uh, small clusters. So I'm gonna take this one and distress it really well. So I started with that vintage photo. Now to the edges I'm editing black ink. And with that vintage photo I was very generous. And maybe I can even put this right here instead of on the paper I can place it on my bottle I'm gonna place it this way So I'm gonna use some of these uh, kind of like graphic uh, graphics from Tim Holtz. This is glitch, uh, glitch number two. Yes, glitch number two. And these stamps, they are awesome. They are very strange, but they do amazing backgrounds. Interesting backgrounds, I have to say. it right here just simple
and that's my mini booklet. Now I can take it here and place it somewhere on my page. And I'm gonna make it as a pocket. So I'm gonna put a glue on three sides only. Place it right here. And long time ago I made a video with the closures made from uh, can openers. So I'm going to take one of these closures. This one can be there. And I'm going to be using it here for closing this booklet. So if I'm going to glue this right here, it will be just like an reinforcement. And it also looks good. I'm going to take my closure, place it this way so I know that I can, you know, twist it to the other side. Here, I'm gonna fix it and because this is kind of plain empty I'm gonna be using some stamps and stamp it before I will put there my closure so I stamped <coughs> I stamped just some random numbers these are stamps from Tim Holtz and now I can fix my closure this way open it like this and close it down together with my decorative panels uh, i'm gonna create a few kind of like photo mats i found in my stuff these and i have no idea how long time i do have this one and they are in the size four by six so i'm thinking um, maybe i wanted to do some kind of notepad I'm gonna cut them on half on that six by four pieces and I'm gonna do simple kind of like uh, photo mats using book pages. So book page will be my background. I'm gonna cut this on four and one quarter. So it will be slightly bigger than is this uh, black paper. I'm gonna glue that black paper on that book page. So that way I will have beautiful frame all around. And my book page is uh, longer than that piece so I can fold it here and use this to glue it on the background. I'm gonna be also making probably sewing effect. I'm not sure. I think I will. <laughs> I like sewing effect. So with this simple gluing paper on my book pages I'm gonna make another kind of like extra extra pages. Oh yeah I'm gonna use this. <laughs> so from this paper I'm gonna cut three eighths of inch or a half inch half inch I'm gonna go for you know safety bigger amount yes half inch strips and I'm gonna use them
to create frame on my pieces. And now I can put the glue here on this back fold, place it over the edge and make nice position. And this closure maybe can be closed behind both of them. Yeah, I can slide it behind that closure, so that's good. And that way I will have space for a photo or for, you know, uh, writing with that uh, white jelly pen. And when it will be flip, flip it up and open, I do have pocket and some writing space. And here on the bottom I'm missing something. This vintage advert. And this can be put right here. And because it's Halloween, there should be something a little bit more grungy or, you know, some kind of texture. So I'm gonna take my poking tool to make sure or to make my sewing a little bit easier and I'm gonna poke a few holes one two three and one two where is the one so here three three holes on each side of this uh, edge and I'm gonna start from inside from the first hole on the bottom I'm going to go to the middle hole on the top then I'm gonna go to the middle hole on the bottom to that third hole on the top from that I'm gonna go to that third hole on the bottom and going back first to that middle and I'm making those beautiful oops beautiful cross hand stitching now to that bottom hole in the middle again and to this first one on the top eh, come on like this that's all just simple decoration but really beautiful and I'm gonna cut this take my medical tape and put my medical tape over those edges first I'm gonna put there a little bit of glue under the thread and I'm gonna secure it with that medical tape Look, just very simple decoration, really simple decoration, very fast, but it it does give you something a little bit more. So I'm going to prepare uh, something like this for those other papers. So I did create this simple photo map. I should put something here. So I do have this piece, which will be glued this way here. <coughs> and I do have... <coughs> Pardon me. I do have a uh, last strip from my off cut, and I was thinking uh, I can do two slot pockets one here and maybe one here, or one large pocket. And I think that I will like much more. So I'm gonna glue this one here. I put the double sided tape to make it a little bit more easy. So I'm gonna glue this strip 
right here. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna take my ruler, ruler and knife and I'm gonna cut the slot inside. I'm gonna cut kind of like small slot. One more time. <coughs> and cut this, that inside strip. I'm going to cut it off here. So with this simple step, I do have prepared pocket for here. So now I can start to glue it all together. I'm gonna glue this over the edge, but because I do have there now that slot, I'm gonna check out how far I can go with that book page. Just till here, so the rest I can cut off because I don't need it there anyway. that long piece on the rest I'm gonna add the glue <coughs> glue my extra kind of like photomat with writing spot here I'm gonna take my base page and now here will be pocket so this part I need to glue down and then all around. That way I can get to this pocket here and add there some ephemeral. So on all the spot right here I'm gonna add the glue. And then around. Here, here, and on this side, I'm going to add this glue. To make sure everything gets glued nicely. And I do have pocket right here, all the way. This one I have created just with book page, this uh, paper from this paper pack, and one of these off cuts. So I do have, it can be kind of like tuck here, so it's all matching together, or it can be tuck on that opposite side. Here I do have that first page, so I'm gonna do kind of exactly the same, I'm gonna glue it down. Uh, this time I'm gonna be making pocket where the top is here. So I wanna have their space for this extra tack. So I'm gonna grab the tack to make sure I know how far I can go with the glue and all around of the tack I'm gonna put a glue. And somewhere here. And on all that rest, I hope you did enjoy this part of Halloween folio creation. Thank you so, so much for visiting me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you do like this video, please share that uh, with your friends on your social medias. Help me to grow this channel. It will be so much appreci appreciated on my end and I will be very, very thankful for that. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.